Good morning, it's Friday. You've made it, you've done your first full week back at school, where you belong, with those lovely staff and all your friends. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful time. I'm sorry I can't be there, I'm gutted. But hopefully I can stay in touch by doing my stories. So today I've got the Scarecrow's Wedding, another favourite in this house. It's by Julia Donaldson, who does the Gruffalo, and uh, Alex Scheffler has also done the illustration, so it's a bit shiny, isn't it? Okay, so today we're going to look out for a Gruffalo, actually, see if you can spot. There's a little Gruffalo picture somewhere, I might have to help you. Okay, let's have a look. Betty O'Barley and Harry O'Hay were scarecrows. They scared lots of crows every day. Harry loved Betty and Betty loved Harry. So Harry said, Betty, my beauty, let's marry. Let's have a wedding, the best wedding yet. A wedding that no one will ever forget. They look really happy, don't they? They're in a beautiful field right by the seaside. Oh, how I wish to be by the seaside. Betty agreed, so they hugged and they kissed. Then Betty said, Harry dear, let's make a list. Ladies and mommies are very good at doing lists, aren't they? Here's the list. Just as you say, answered Harry O'Hay. So they wrote down the things that they would need on the day. A dress of white feathers, a necklace of shells, lots of pink flowers, two rings and some bells. Then Harry gave Betty O'Barley his arm and the scarecrow set off on a hunt around the farm. They're going to go and see if they can find all the things on the list. They hadn't gone far when they spotted some geese. Oh, geese, if you'll give us a feather apiece, you can come to our wedding. The best wedding yet. The wedding that no one will ever forget. Willy well honked the geese. And they each gave a feather. And a spider friend offered to sew them together. Hooray, cried the scarecrows. They hugged and they kissed. And they hurried back home and crossed dress off their list. Then Harry gave Betty O'Barley his arm and they set off once more on their hunt round the farm. They hadn't gone far when some cows gathered round and the bells on their necks made a wonderful sound. Ring-a-ding-ding, ring-a-ding-ding. Oh, cows, will you please come and make your bells ring for our wonderful wedding, the best wedding, yeah. The wedding that no one will ever forget. Yes, mood the cows, we can tinkle our bells. Then a crab scuttled up with a necklace of shells. Some mice found two rings in a bin. They were certain the rings had belonged to an old farmhouse curtain. They're getting lots of things ch checked off this list, aren't they? Hooray, cried the scarecrows. They hugged and they kissed. They're very in love, aren't they? I love it. Pink flowers are the only things left on our list. Then Harry said, Betty dear, I can find those. Why don't you... Why don't I pick some while you have a doze? He's a good husband material, isn't he? If he's going to go and um, do the jobs and let her have a rest. Good scarecrow. Pink flowers, pink flowers, buzzed a stripey bee. I can find you a field of pink flowers. Follow me. So the bee led the way and they travelled for hours till they came to a field full of plenty, sorry, full of pretty pink flowers. Harry stood thinking, 
I won't pick them yet. I'll need to find water to keep their stalks wet. Good thinking, uh, Harry. Because otherwise they'd just die, wouldn't they? And they wouldn't look beautiful for the wedding. Just follow me, croaked a glumpy old toad croak. There's a lovely wet pool at the top of this road. Here's the signpost for pool. It's a quite a steep hill. Oh, they climbed up the road. It was terribly steep. Oh, I'm tired, said the toad. So they stopped for a sleep. I should think they're tired, it's night time now. When I asked Freddie about this picture and I said, how do we know it's night time, Freddie? And he said about the moon and the stars. And then he spotted some animals that just come out at night. So they sleep during the day, they come out at night. Do you know what they're called? Begins with an mmm. You've got it, nocturnal, that's it. So these animals are going to off, off to have their dinner now, aren't they? Well done. Early next morning, they came to the pool. This water, said Harry, is beautifully cool, but now I need something to carry it in. A jug or a vase or a cup or a tin. I think I can help, said a small squirrely snail. I can show you the way to a very fine pail. Very slow. Very helpful. So they, so the snail and the scarecrow set off on their way. But the snail was so slow. It took almost, sorry, it took more than a day. He's had enough now, hasn't he? Betty was worried. What's happened to Harry? Where is the scarecrow I'm planning to marry? The farmer came by with a frown on his face. And he made a new scarecrow to take Harry's place. Oh, the farmer doesn't realise, does he? We don't need a new scarecrow. He's just get to, gone to get some flowers. Good day, said the scarecrow. I'm Reginald Rake. He took Betty's hand and gave it a shake. Together, he told her, we make a fine pair. You're really quite pretty, apart from your hair. Then he jumped in the tractor and told her, hop in. I'm a really fast driver. Let's go for a spin. But Betty said, no, I must wait here for Harry. He's the scarecrow I'm going to marry. We're planning our wedding, the best wedding yet. The wedding that no one will ever forget. Reginald laughed. <laughs> You'll be waiting forever. Forget that, Harry. I bet he's not clever. Oh, 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 has anyone spotted it? There's the little Gruffalo sign. And it says Gruff Tour. Instead of Track Tour, Gruff Tour. Good one. Good one, Julia Donaldson. I oh, must be the cleverest scarecrow alive. I can sing lots of songs. I can dance. I can drive. I'm dashing. I'm daring. I'm cool as can be. I can even flow, blow smoke rings. Just watch me and see. And he took out a big fat forgot cigar from a packet the farmer had foolishly left in his pocket. But smoking is bad for you, Betty exclaimed. Really, you ought to be feeling ashamed. Don't be a fuss, Pop, said Reginald Ray. My smoke rings are staggering, make no mistake. He struck up a light and tried hard to smoke, but straight away started to <coughs> sputter and <coughs> choke. What happened next? was completely unplanned. 
the lighted cigar tumbled out of his hand. It's all gone wrong. It fell to the ground and it started a fire. Betty screamed, help! As the flames flickered higher. But Reginald Rake said, I'd better be off. And he bounded away with a <coughs> terrible cough. Oh, well, he's no help, is he? I thought he told us he was the best scarecrow going. No, he's not, is he? Look at the poor little mice are running away, the cricket. The sheep are thinking what on earth is going on and poor Betty, well, she's frantic. Then suddenly, who should appear on the farm but Harry O'Hay with a pail in his arm? A pail is another word for a bucket. Betty cried, Betty, cried Harry, my own future wife. He poured on the water and saved Betty's life. Whew, thank goodness for that. Then they picked up the flyer, flowers, they hugged and they kissed. And they said, now that's everything off the list. So they've crossed off the feathers, the shells on the neck of the necklace, um, lots of pink flowers, two rings and some bells. Let's see what happens. So Betty O'Barley and Harry O'Hay wed one another the very next day. And everyone, even the snail, who was late, said, don't they look happy and don't they look great? This they agreed as they sprinkled confetti on Harry O'Hay and beautiful Betty. He's the best wedding ever, the best wedding yet. The wedding that no one will ever forget. And here's her dress made of feathers, her necklace made of shells. Uh, they've both got a ring and the pink flowers and the cows with their bells. Everybody's there. There's the geese, here's the snail just coming up behind, here's the crab um, and here's the bee that helped and there's also, and here's the um, spider and there's some lovely squirrels, some goslings, baby geese, lovely, oh and the toad, I nearly forgot the toad didn't I, beautiful and there they are driving away on the tractor into the sunset all happy. I like that story, did you? Well, I hope you've had a fabulous Friday and I hope you're going to have a lovely weekend. Fingers crossed for this sunshine. And don't forget, spoil your mummies. It's Mother's Day this Sunday. So make sure you're helping her do lots of jobs, giving her lots of cuddles and kisses. That's probably the best thing you can do. Um, so yeah, take care everyone. Hopefully see you soon. Bye.